Court. Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Tapscott, and today we're gonna to be reading this wonderful book. It's perfect for the springtime. And joining me today is going to be my first grade daughter, Emily, my fifth grade daughter, Abby, and my dog, Pearl. So we're gonna enjoy this book called It Looked Like Spilt Milk by Charles G. Shaw. And then there's even going to be a fun activity that you can do afterwards. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes it looked like a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. Sometimes it looked like a bird, but it wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looked like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. What could it be? Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Sometimes it looked like a flower, but it wasn't a flower. Sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Sometimes it looked like a sheep, but it wasn't a sheep. Sometimes it looked like a great horned owl, but it wasn't a great horned owl. Sometimes it looked like a mitten, but it wasn't a mitten. Do you have any idea what it could be? What could it be? Something that looks like all of these objects. A marshmallow. A marshmallow? A cloud. A cloud? A paper plate. Sometimes it looked like a squirrel, but it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like an angel, but it wasn't an angel. Gonna find out. Ready? Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. It was just a cloud in the sky. Because clouds can look like all different kinds of shapes. And when it's a beautiful day with clouds, you can lay outside and see what shapes you can find in the clouds. And Abby and Emily are going to show us how they can add a page to this book with their own cloud creation. You ready, girls? Uh 